I'm Doug Bell and this is the Hot Rod Show. We've got a whole bunch of kiddies from the local kindergarten here today and we're going to have a whole lot of fun with them. Boom! On the show today, we are back in Christchurch as there was so much stuff we couldn't fit it all into one show. And our Kiwi Span Shed visit takes us to Hot Rod legend himself, Craig Steer. I'm so excited to meet him. We are at Woman on Wheels where Swiss Tracks is laying a brand new awesome floor. Wow! And I take to the road in Christchurch and Maud's awesome crew. What a ride, man! All that and more on this week's Hot Rod Show. <laughs> well, here we are, back in Ken's shed again, and here's Ken. Hey, Ken. Hey, mate. Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. good, mate. Yeah, well, okay. today we've got a very special episode going on because it's called the Wrinkly Run. And to introduce why it's called the Wrinkly Run, we're going to bring Sharon on. Woo! Come on, Sharon! Sharon. Oh. How you doing? Hi, Doug. I'm great. Come on in the middle. Come in the middle. There's always got to be a rose between two thorns. Two thorns. Oh, how lucky am I? Yes. Um, yes, today's a very be. special run that our club's Pretty been doing. <laughs> for quite, oh, it's taken me here off for quite a few uh, years now. And um, we pick these lovely people up from Age Concern and bring them out to they, fabulous were, places were like to see you guys. Were yeah, they, were yeah. You all we're hitchhiking. Come on, show us your thumbs. But um, it's also a very special uh, month this month. I'd just like to um, make Ken and Doug aware and everyone that it is Breast Cancer Month. And last weekend we did a pink picnic in the park. Uh, we have got our lovely two models over here, Tony and our Sheriff, who are on um, Give a Little. You can go on there. They had their hair dyed pink. Give a little more. Today oh. I've got a special thing for Ken, and it's the boob bead. And it oh, is boobie. three little balls, Ken, that you find in your breath. Mm -hmm. And I thought you definitely need some pink balls. So you can put them on your key ring. When you're feeling a bit stressed, you can just play with those balls. So you guys, don't forget to check the girls' boobs out. On, on, on the way out. On the way out. Yeah, can you feel thank this? you. Can you feel this? Have I got breast uh, cancer? No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> as, um, as you know, we had pierced nipples. <laughs> When I go in my pocket to feel the balls, I'm not actually, I'm just making sure my money's still in my wallet. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Make sure I haven't slipped out your credit card. Well, it's all about age today, so we've got an old Mustang and a new Mustang, but before we get into the cars, we're going to ask some people sitting at the back, because they're looking at the back of these things, so what do you think of the back of a new Mustang? Yeah, yeah? lovely. What do you think about the back of an old Mustang? Even better. better. Yeah, old is better. Old is better. We're standing <laughs> back. So, older is better. Yeah. Let's get Tony over Tony and start over, yeah. talking about your car. Hey guys. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, he's got pink hair because he, Tony's a big giver. <laughs> Yeah, well, you better explain the pink hair to start with, eh? Well, it was, um, we had a picnic in the park last week for breast cancer, and so the sheriff and I went up and had our hair dyed by the lovely Sharon over here. And it's natural now, and you're going to keep it that way, yeah. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. Well, we were told it was washout, and then when she did it, she said, sorry, I left it at home, I've got the permanent for it. <laughs> After it was done. What are you going to tell us about your car, mate? Uh, I'm the second owner. I bought this in the States. Second owner? Yep. I bought this in the States oh. nine years ago. Uh, if a lady had bought a brand new at school, and I bought it home, and I put a 351 in it with a uh, cam. 351? Yep. So, so you're the second owner? Yes. Is that what, how, how many miles has it been? Oh, it's been around the clock twice probably. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, it's that's... been a well-used car. Yeah. And I love it, and I use it all the time. Yeah, so, so how, how many miles have you done since you've had it? Uh, oh, I've probably done 60,000. Wow. It's just never stops. That, that's Ooh. great, isn't it? Yeah, love it. Love it to bits. And what's the story about the bonnet and the... Um, That's actually of that an original 390. It's yep. a genuine 390 taco. Is that the bonnet as well with the scoops? Because they yes. don't normally come That's out right, with that. So it's a whole yep. GT yep. bonnet. Yep. But yep. it's not a GT car, is it? No. Okay. And um, what's the reference with the Pony 35 on the side? That's actually 351. Somebody's taking out the one. Ah. Thank you. Probably, Thanks for probably, out. probably pointing that out. 
probably yeah. an Australian come along yeah. and thought he'd probably... Look at the other side, mate. Can, can I hop inside? Yeah, sure. Chip. Look at the other side, mate. It's got 351 on it, see? Oh, has it? Yeah, oh, OK. Yeah, sorry. Right. Just, just so you don't you get confused. change different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Depends what side you're standing on. I don't want to be mean or anything, but oh. consoles are 351 as well. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't uh, have the fat man wheel. He's a lovely wheel. man, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't have the fat man wheel option. <laughs> Sorry, mate, no. That is a small wheel as well. Yeah, wow. Well, is that original, the original wheel? No, 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 it's an aftermarket wheel. I'll tell you what, nice. The wheel suited off, eh? Pretty good, eh? Yes, that's how I got it from the States. What, what, what Pretty nostalgia what, type, sort yeah. of, as it should be. How, how much has been done inside, you know, like, cause it's pretty beautiful, you know? That's how I got it, actually, as it stands, apart from all the running gear, I've done yeah. all the running gear, um, fit disc brakes to the front, power brakes to it, so it stops, and done all the suspension. What actually, and all the guards, yes. Yeah, what actually happens for Mustangs, what they did is they mass produced them, eh? And yes. they're really hard to put mag wheels on them. So what you do is you roll the guards, um, to get these wheels on because they just don't go. And what actually happens is it chews the tyres out. So it's a good way to roll it. What we used to do in the old days is get a baseball bat and run it around like that. That's exactly how that, that one was done. Oh, did right. yep. oh, Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Is that how you did it? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. You just still do it now. But in actual fact, they're really hard to get a, um, a mag wheel on because of that. They were mass produced so much that they didn't think that because uh, like the school kids' cars in the States, you know, shopping mm. and all that, you know, but now they've caught on so well, you have to roll the guards on these things. And there's a lot of guys out in the industry that'll roll it for you, save the damage and... Roll it over. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> ex-baseball bat. So there's, it's quite good. There's a lot of options you can buy for these cars too. In actual fact, did you know you can buy them brand new now? I have heard that, yes. Yep. Yeah, you can buy a whole body, and one of the easiest cars to produce is it. You can actually buy a kit car now, the body, the floor, everything you want, this car, you can actually buy from the factory floor now, which is making them more and more popular. They're really, mm. really popular. Oh, that's In amazing. In fact, I've got one as well, so that's how... Yeah, they are a good car. But I'm rubbishing mine, and you've got one yourself. Yeah. Well, you go, because you I can. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got one. But exactly. what colour is it, Ken? Uh, what colour is it, Ken? Uh, Ken, what, co what colour is it? Can we it's point uh, it out? It's mauve colour. What colour is oh, it? Oh, yours is a queer one in the, in the car park. Oh, no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's pink. It's just a, a variant of oh, pink. It's a variant of pink. It's not yeah. pink, it's candy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, don't let Sharon know I've got a pink car, right? You've got to have a pink car. <laughs> so anyway, it'll be um, nice to do the comparison between the old and the new. The factory's actually starting to re produce muscle cars, which is bloody good for hot rodding because they're the hot rods of the future. And we don't want to receive thousands of letters rolling in to say bullshit, we don't know what we're talking about. But that word will be cut out of the filming anyway, I'd imagine. But um, <laughs> hey, let's get on with it, you know. It, um, they're a pretty tough looking car. And there's a lot of resemblance between what they started out with, what they've got today is brilliant. They made a few mistakes in the past, eh? They, that bloody Mustang too was absolute garbage. It was crap. I didn't go there. It was absolute. Tch. Anyway, so now they've come right. Cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the infamous Craig Steer. Hey, Craig. This is the first time I met yep. you, and I'm sorry I didn't have a box of trinkets and jewellery and, you know, or everything beer. from up, and bad beer or anything <laughs> to bring you from up north. But no, well. you are a hot rodding legend. You, you might not think, but you, you are, man. I mean, I've known about you for 40-something years, heard all about you, heard nothing bad, yeah. you know, even the good stuff and the bad stuff has been good. But, <laughs> you know, like, you are the, you're the dude from Muscle Car Madness. Yep. You do this amazing event in Christchurch every year at the end of January. Yeah, that's right. It's um, and 25 years we just yeah, done. So. Yeah. 
and it's almost like one of those things that if that's something on the on the hot rodders holy grail list to do <laughs> that you, if you don't if you don't do this before you die you end up in purgatory yeah isn't yeah. it yeah where's purgatory well it's halfway pa between past Invercargill yeah it's it? past Invercargill yeah in between <laughs> Invercargill and Stewart Island yeah yeah, yeah. but um, well you we're look, just looking at this place and you've got an eclectic um, collection Me mess mess is the word uh, it's only mess to some people man like to the person who knows where it all is it's just perfectly tidy isn't it yeah I'm still looking for the person that knows oh, you where it all is. Yeah, well, he's in that car, maybe. <laughs> but tell us a little bit about this, man. This is just amazing. Yeah, well, that's the original Street Fighter that I yeah. built sort of 30, 35 years ago, I suppose. Um, in those days, it was all street legal, which it will be again, and um, it ran 11.01 at 121. And I drove it up to Auckland, and uh, we won one of the... Uh, classes at the Nationals that year. What, what, what sort of engine is it's it? It's a 355 Chev. Yeah. Um, Have you done anything much to it? I haven't done anything no. to it since, it's, since yeah. it came back. But who, who painted it? Because it's such an amazing yeah, flame uh, paint well, job and yeah, mural that, on the back. Yeah, that was, um, it was, wasn't even going to get painted. You know, Well, it was going to be restored yeah. back to Street Fighter guys, which it eventually will. Um, but what's um, happened, Mike Lavelli from Washington um, that runs Killer Paint, and he's the inventor of True Fire, mm. um, was over here doing a course and he was a, yeah. a, a few short you know, of, of people and things and one of the project cars he was going to paint uh, didn't eventuate. Lucky you. Yeah, so I thought, well, how, how often do you get one of the top custom yeah, painters yeah. in the world there that you can yeah. kind, of, kind of afford? Or yeah, <laughs> like, the, like that, that mural on the back, oh, like the, yeah. the, the detail, you know. It's, the, yeah, it's, it's insane. It's, you've got it, to keep looking and looking it, and looking. And, and the, the worst thing is it, it's it's got um, a ponytail with grey hair, and the, supposedly, so it's... Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> almost picture perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it could have been you could on have the been back. Me. Yeah. yeah, realistic. Yeah. Realistically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, now now we're going to cut and have a look at your, your your Model T over there. Yep. Well, here we are with a beautiful Grandma Duck um, T Coupe Craig just been chopped just a tad, you know, just to yeah. get it to the right height. And we've got a, what, a 347 in there? 348. 348. Yeah. I was one number out. Yeah, one out. Yeah. Well, so It's been chopped about eight inches yeah. and channeled about six or seven. Or, yeah. Yeah, my friend Adam Thompson, uh, I took it round there to... Uh, he was just going to get it to a rolling stage for me, and then he, he got right into it too, and ended up. I virtually drove drove it back. Really, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I love it, man. I, it's it's just absolutely cool. It's quite it's quite an interesting story. But when I was in the states, um, we oh, about four in the morning, we were lined up at Pomona Swap Meet, and. Um, the next row had all these old car bodies, and this was one of them, um, but it was all stock height yeah. and everything. And um, every time one row moved up, the next one would move up, and it would be there again. So it kept on taunting me. And then we went in and um, parked up the, the motorhome, you know, because you've got like 16 square yeah, miles yeah, to yeah. go and park in. So we, we, we parked up, and about five minutes later, the same trailer came along and parked in the, in the row right beside us. Wow. Yeah. So I thought it was meant to happen. So, yeah. I, so I went to the guy and said, oh, I'll, I'll buy it as long as you can uh, drop it off for us. He said, oh, yeah. where, where do you want it dropped off? He said, oh, six feet that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Well, I mean, th th this is a true rat rod, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah. you, you can't get any more radish than this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like the fact that there's no paint on it. I mean, yeah. I could drive that myself. I, you know, I wouldn't suit yeah. something as beautiful in it, like as this early bird. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just... Love old cars like that, eh? Yeah, man. Attract a bit of attention. Oh, it, everywhere it goes, like more <laughs> attention than, than you know than yeah. anything that's all sparkled up, wouldn't it, eh? Yeah, that's right. Pe people see this, they go, "Oh my gosh, how can that be on the road?" And you look at them, you go, "Oh my gosh, how can you be walking?" <laughs> well, this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sherry's Mustang, and well, what do you think of that? It's a 2007 model. It's got racing stripes up the front, over the roof, down the back, underneath, yeah. inside, soon. Factory hot rod. Battery right? hot rod. Yeah. Factory Shelby. hot rod. Factory. Yeah. Sherry, come over here and tell us about your sweet ride. How you doing? Good to, good to see you. Yeah. Sherry, you're from Hibiscus Rodders, and you know, we, we know that Hibiscus Rodders love cars like this. So, yep. start to tell us a little bit about because you know you've had this for a little while. You're the first New Zealand owner. First New Zealand owner. It's a, Shel a GT Shelby. Yeah. Um, it's just turned over 20,000 miles. Where'd you get it from? I bought it from the Mustang Centre in Christchurch. Mustang Centre in Christchurch, yep. wow, oh, they, they have a nice selection people. there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Had it shipped up in a container. Ooh. Yep. 
Very happy with it. Very happy. So how, how long have you had it? Three years. Three years. Wow. Yes. Have one like a lot of miles? Don't drive it everywhere? No, no. no? It's, a, it's a once a, once a week if oh, it's really? lucky. To yep. the supermarket? Yeah. So never to the supermarket. Never to the supermarket. <laughs> so what's the story about the number plate? Uh, that's to stop my twin boys from taking it out. Oh, is that right? Ride. Yeah. Why, why don't they don't they like having a Sherry's no, license plate? No, no, it's not a good look with Sherry's yeah. on the number plate. So no. before I had that, the first week I had it, my son took it, one of them took it and did a big burn out. And it's the last time either of them had it by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's the way, you know, get a license plate for your car that's got a lady's name on it. Yeah. <laughs> Kids won't take it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn them, eh? Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Well, one and thing we'd would... like to do is because, you know, we've got this, um, this older Mustang here, you know, with the bonnet lifted up. Couldn't we lift the bonnet up on this one? You know, just, sure. you know, because we're doing an old new comparison. Yep. Old mm. new, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so we'd just like to show people, you know, okay. what, what it's really like under there, how much room there isn't anymore. Okay, yeah. well do. <laughs> and while she's lifting the bonnet, we've actually had news that, uh, yes. didn't we? It's we've just come in. Yeah, 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 that's right. Hold on. Um, what's happened is, is that we've just been informed that the Mustang of this new shape, uh, New Zealand is the biggest buyer of this sort of car per capita in the world. And Ford Motor Company couldn't believe the statistics. This, that word? Statistics. Yeah, that word as well. And what actually happened was they couldn't believe that there were so many cars sold in New Zealand. So, hey, don't forget, if you want to bring one in, we know a company that can yes. bring these cars in, yes. eh, Doug? That's right. And they Online can, logistics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now it's so affordable to bring these cars into the country, eh? It's really good. Now, is it a manual auto? Manual. Manual. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> but this is a really well-appointed car, eh? And I'll tell you what, they're really comfortable, they're really comfortable car, right? And they're actually, you can actually have a, be a, a businessman and have one of these cars as a, as a run around for work. Like black as well, you know, like it's, it's a, <laughs> like mothers, they've, they've got this whole new polishing thing coming out that, that when you try it on the black, it, like, you won't get any of the little scratches, scratches that you, that you no. always get, you know, when you do black. Yeah. They've got this new machine that they've, you know, patented and everything that it'll just polish it without making the marks on marks it. Marks on it, yeah. Has it got heated seats? No. Oh. Ejector seats? <laughs> <laughs> Should have everything else, doesn't it? Mm. And, Sherry, like, having a car like this, what's the most exciting thing about it? You know, having an American muscle car, you know? It's got power. Power. Yeah, you take it to work one day. Sometimes, some days I do take it to work. Yeah. I've had a bad day at work. I get in the car and just hoon it home. Yeah. Awesome. It's a pity you, you, you go over the Harbour Bridge. No, no. Man. All motorway, though. Wasn't From it? Wasn't it? The, the Harbour Elfin. Bridge, before they put that concrete barrier up, you know, on a Friday afternoon, you had a bad day on the suicide lane, oh. you know. <laughs> over the <top. laughs> Man, it used to be fun. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry, for bringing a beautiful Mustang in today. And, you know, we've had a, an opportunity to compare between old and new. Mm -hmm. And so just like to ask everybody, what do you like, old or new? Old. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hands up for old. Hands down for new. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in Silverdale with Dennis from Swiss Tracks as Paul from Woman on Wheels gets a lovely new floor. Well, we're here with Paul and Dennis again. Hey, Paul. Hey, how are you? Yeah, and uh, Dennis from Swiss Tracks again. Now, Paul, what did you want, you know, when you got Dennis on the phone the day and said, look, I want you to come up and turn my showroom into something amazing? I wanted to turn it into what the Hot Rod Show was like, because that's really? got amazing flooring, that. Yeah. yeah. It just makes it look so smart, and we wanted to tidy the showroom up, so. Yeah. Very easy solution and yeah. easy to put up too. Yeah, like it's been going down. This we've been standing here, it's just almost gone down in a flash. Well, it's really easy. It's, yeah. um, as we say, if you can't be bothered doing it, hire somebody's kid. Yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> well, I mean, like, like it really is. We've, you know, like half an hour probably, maybe a little more, and this has all been put down. That's amazing. Yeah, well, we spent a little extra time to try and line up all the doorways yeah. for the edges, but. Um, um, yeah, it's, it doesn't take long to get down at all. This is pretty amazing. Like, you know, for, for car dealer showrooms and everything like that, you, you know, yep. they can't really go wrong with this stuff. And where is it also found? 
Oh. Barrett Jackson. Oh, Barrett Jackson. Jayden Seema, Jayden Seema. Seema. Yeah. Big all boys, all boys, the big names. All yeah. those places. Speed Show, you know. Yeah. Like, if you want the stuff, hey, Paul, it's pretty good. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm very, very happy to have this down. I'm yeah. Looking like, forward to the getting customer feedback. Yeah, well, we, we'll, we'll be showing everybody what it looks like as soon as it is all laid down. You've got your Tirana moved out of the way. And, yeah. Man, it's going to look amazing. Yeah, you it's going to look great. I'm really happy with it, eh? Woman on Wheels. There you go. And Swiss Tracks Flooring. Now, when it came time to choosing the colours, you know, like, why, why did you choose black and orange and then white and pink and then, and like, I know you had, Dennis, he's got a whole selection of colours, man, it's, he's got the rainbow, you there know? Was, there was a lot to choose from. Yeah. Um, the pink and white because of Woman on Wheels. Yes. And we've, um, we, we decided we'd run the Woman on Wheels out of the car yard here, which yeah. is um, also called NZ Vehicle Sales. Yeah. And we're just... Really, Woman on Wheels, that's a great thing, man. It's it a fantastic great. thing oh, what you do, Paul. I'm so passionate you about know, it. It's, yeah. I've, I've, seen you, I've seen you do it, man. I've been in the car with you yeah. when you've taken a car to someone, you know, to see if they wanted it. Yeah. I mean, that, that service, you yeah. know. Well, I've already had a lady come in and hug me today saying thank you very much for really? what I did for you. Yeah. Did the lipstick? Uh, all was there. Yeah. <laughs> That's from you. Business. Yeah, you're in the wrong business, <laughs> yeah. Dennis. Get so, lipstick on yeah, your collar. Yeah, she was very, very, very happy. Yeah. She's amazed. You yeah, know, what we did for her. So. No, you, you, you guys, yeah, you, you guys do a terrific job, man. How, how many colours you got anyway, Dennis? We've got the uh, from? 18, 18 different colours. So we just came down with the range, and, yeah. and Paul was able to pick out the, the ones that suited him. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, here we are laying it out. It's amazing, man. It's you know, it's as good floor. Woo! And here it is, all finished in less than a couple of hours. And already clients are saying how cool it looks. Back in Christchurch, there's more to see. This is really one of the best hot rod events you'll find. There's just so much to see, and there's always new cars. Look, my long lost brother. We saw you rumble in, man, and I spun around. I thought, oh my God, we've got to get that dude on camera, eh? This, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty unique, I it suppose. Is. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, can, can, you, can you show us underneath the bonnet? Yeah, sure. Wow. Wow, we've got something that's uh, serious horsepower there, aren't we? Yeah, it's just under a thousand horsepower. Really? Yeah, we've had a wow. um, cylinder heads um, engine dyno. Yeah. Um, who, who did all the engine work for uh, you? Cylinder Head Specialist did the engine. Uh, and, and where are they based? Uh, Christchurch. Cylinder Head Specialists in Christchurch. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we, we, we like to plug names, you know, on the show yeah. because, like, I mean, everyone's everyone's worthy of being mentioned on the show, you know, so yeah. please, if you want to... Yeah, well, it's a big thing, Cylinder Heads, because yeah. um, build my... Well, I race Speedway as well. Oh, do you? They build my Speedway yeah. engines and... Oh, yeah, cool. Reliable, good yeah. engines, yeah. Do you use Mother's? car polish on it <laughs> well i started cleaning before but i ran out of energy so <laughs> yeah well that's a good that's, you don't need to do any more than the engine yeah i did this side here's the shiny yeah side. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought we'd better get our that's, shit yeah. that's that's some serious horsepower man yeah no it fries the tires i love your glasses yeah those little flames that. on the side yeah you yeah, know so yeah. just, it's just more of a fun car now we put yeah. the standard motor out which is hard to use it really so yeah well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're down in Christchurch and we're here to see some amazing sheds. We're going to breakfast with the Customs Car Club and look what we're riding in. Isn't this just beautiful? It's a beautiful coupe, blowing Hemi engine. Man, this thing is just amazing to ride in. But staying at the quality and only the best cars turn up here to pick the best people up from the best TV show. And look who we're going with too, American Auto Parts. Man, if you want parts, come and get parts from American Auto Parts. This is just an amazing place. Look at this lovely hotel man, look at the foyer. Look at the bed, boing, boing, boing. You know, it's a pretty cool room. There's Darth Vader's life there. And it's even got a chair like this that you can just relax on. There's that thing again, that big eye. Here we go, look at the cars they allow into this hotel, man. Only quality cars at the quality hotel. Check this out. 34 Emmy says what it is. This is just a beautiful ride, Maud. The devil woman, Fairburn, was of course the fastest woman in Australasia. She used to thunder down the drag strip like you wouldn't believe. Wow. Maud, this has been an amazing ride. <laughs> Pulling up the outside American Auto Parts.
Wow, hell me up there. Woohoo! Whew, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to experience something like this. If you can ever do it, get a hot rod. Get a hot rod, go for a ride in a hot rod. Just do something with a hot rod. It's amazing. Here is a piece of living history, man. Tell us, Craig. Yeah, well, this is the original tea bucket that Harry Wright built uh, called Novelty. And um, I found it in Timaru. Okay, this was um, the feature in New Zealand Hot Rod Magazine, 1973. Uh, September, and that was when it was in its full show condition. Fortunately, a lot of the parts are missing now, like the roof and the roll bar and stuff, but we do have the windshield and a few other bits and pieces. And but when I found it, it was all a very insipid, uh, bright pink colour. Yeah. With Ooh. a 302 in it. And I didn't really want to restore it as such. Um, so we got it going. It was going to be kind of the retro rod yeah. until I got the T-Coupe. Well, here we have pretty much one of the last of Craig's um, little enterprises that we're going to see here today is the 32 um, Ford Tudor. Uh, as you can see, it's got an old rocket engine in it, triple carbs, dropped super bell axle, drum brakes in the front, you know, and um, this, is a, this, is a real, this is a real old hot rod style car, you know. It's, look at this, 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 this is Craig Steer, man. He, he, do it again, do it again. What? Your eyes. Man, this guy, this guy is a real legend. Like we had John Murray on the show you know, the other day, but this dude uh -huh. is a real settle, legend. Settle down. No, man, it's not because you, 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 you are the guys, you know, that, that you're one of the names of hot rodding, man. Yeah. You know, like, don't, don't give up on that. Yeah. Well, Craig, sadly, we've come to the end of our little jaunt at your place, man. It's, it's what an eclectic collection, <laughs> you know, of memorabilia you have. It's, it's oh, beautiful. Yeah. You probably even missed the old one. Oh, we hey, missed you know. so much stuff. That's why we're coming back again. Oh, you know? Thanks for the warning. Yeah, yeah, it's a warning now. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to meet you, man. Yeah, it is a, it's an honour. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, what we have today is a very special guest, and that very special guest is Ron, because today's Ron's birthday. And Ron, how old are you today? I should be 89. 89 today. Yeah. And so you were born in uh, 1926? 1926. Yeah. True. So when these two cars here came on the scene, you, you, were, you were 40 years old. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The only, what I was going to say was that it was very good. When I was born, my mother yeah. was going to drown me. But the SPCA stood in and saved me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's jolly good, isn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> you're a bit of a character, aren't you? Hey? Bit of a character. So, what do you think about this um, this run that we've sort of? This liked? this is fantastic. I'd like to do it every week. Would you? Yeah. Um, I absolutely love the cars. They've been in all of them, you know. But I'd like to buy a hot rod too. But, <laughs> But the government won't give me enough money. No. Oh. Um. Why don't you steal one? Pardon? Steal one. <laughs> well, a good question. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, Ron, it, that's, it's time to say, good, say hello again. I, it's time to, to say hello, and it's also time to say goodbye, because I've got to get home and have four rums, have a sleep, and then go out to dinner. So that's yeah. <laughs> And thank you to Hibiscus Rodders for organising the Wrinkly Run. Everyone had a fantastic time, especially the grey-haired people. And notice how many there are. This show is only made possible through the support of our sponsors, so please support them. Mother's Polish, mm -mm -mm. Protector Insurance, you need these guys. Swiss Track Flooring, you can't walk on better stuff. Kiwi Span, they have a shed for every purpose, and online logistics, they'll get your stuff here when you need it. There's CRC, Smartway Security, Casper Transmissions, Woman on Wheels, Colourworks and New World Browns Bay. Keep in contact with us at www.thehotrodshow.com or on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash thehotrodshow. Until next time, keep the dirty side down and the shiny side up! <laughs>